Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a, how a $5 product killed the Magic movie. So this product I'm going to lump with the Funko figures, which I do own, and the Legacy line, which I also own. So the Legacy line went, came out at $19.99 or $29.99, and now they're at the dollar store. They are literally in stocks of the dollar store, and no one wants them. I don't even want them. I bought two Chandras. I was like, wow, the this is like not what I would want ever. I'd much rather have a booster pack than this figure. I bought two Nissas too. And I think uh, someone did a review on this channel. It wasn't me. I'm guessing it was. It's one of the gals. Uh, Maddie? No, Isabel. I think it was Isabel did a review on the chat of the Magic Line. And I mean, it's okay, I guess, for two ninety nine. dollars So... This board game is now at the $5 and below store. This board game has been on sale forever. I've never seen it for retail. Like it would be foolish for anyone to sell at retail. Even Barnes and Noble, who's known for selling really, really expensive stuff, they don't sell this at retail. At least my Barnes and Noble. Walmart stopped carrying this. And why this matters, uh, why this matters is because it killed the magic movie. So if you're Fox, you wanna see, hmm, What's the general attention span of the Magic player? Are they going to support this movie if we pay for, let's say, 20, 25 or $50 million to produce this movie? Will we make back our money? Well, let's try it with these toys and these board games and these figures. And they did not make back their money. They got, they got hammered. This is not a good look for Magic. It's not a good look for Magic to be on sale on GameStop. GameStop is no longer going to carry Magic. From what I've been told, they do not want to carry any more Magic products, and that's why you have $1 booster packs, $9 bundles, and $6 deck building packs. Well, no one wants to just carry this board game. It has performed so poorly as Tank the Movie, in my opinion. Because Fox is looking at it and it's like, oh, wow, we can't make a movie in this. Look at all these toys on sale. So you have the Legacy line, what was that, $24.99? is now $2.99 and has actually dropped down to $1.49 at the local store. Like, literally, the figure that used to be $25 bucks cost less than the store charges for a hot dog. That meant no one wants that figure. The same with the Funkos, the Funko Minis, right? I mean, they were on sale. Barnes and Nobles couldn't light them on fire. I bought them for two or three dollars a piece, and then one day I saw them on sale for like a dollar fifty, and I was like, "Wow, I should have bought more. I should have bought more." But I didn't understand that. Like, I believe they didn't sell, and they just threw them away. So I assumed that they would go on sense for, like, on sale for like a dollar, and I waited for that, but then they were all gone. You're like, oh, someone bought them. No, no one bought them. I'm almost certain that they just l put them in a trash can and lit on it on fire, along with the legacy figures. But there was no better prime example of this than the board game. The board game that looks like it's a movie cover. This is currently why we don't have a movie. Fox bought a movie rights about four or five years ago, and they were, quote, developing a movie. And they had the guy in from the X-Men, right, making the script. Or was he the director? It, they had pretty big names attached to it. Nothing got done. Obviously, no movie is in production. We really need a movie. The general audience of is very negative to Magic, and this is something that I grew up with. But then Magic became kind of geek chic. And now it's back to being harassments. And it's kind of funny. I was talking to my friend and my friend Jess. So we were having dinner and she was mentioning about harassment because he's really into, I think she studied gender studies in NYU. Maybe that was correct. I don't know. See, a woman studies or something like that. He was talking about like, oh, the harassment in the magic community. I was like, oh, well, I don't really know that. I haven't experienced that. He was like, oh, yeah, I heard it's really bad and people get harassed all the time. And I was like, well, maybe online, but never in, like in person. He was like, no, 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 definitely in person. And I was like, okay. So the general perception of our community 
from non-Magic players, it's quite bad. A movie would have really helped to change it, or at least a board game that's not on sale for $5 all the time. Or maybe a Funko figure that's not, like, on sale for $2. Or maybe a Legacy Line figure that's not on sale for $1.25 or $1.49. The fact that... Or in the... Okay, this is the biggest example. Why I'm making this video. Magic, magic products are pieces of crap right now. No one wants to carry them. GameStop is like, nah, we don't want to. We would rather light this stuff on fire than carry it anymore. Okay, if GameStop is selling packs in standard for a dollar, bundles in standard for nine dollars, and toolkits for two dollars, they are saying we don't think Magic is selling, and we don't believe we can sell Magic cards. What does that mean for your local game store? What does that mean for people like Walmart and stuff? Imagine if Walmart stopped. Walmart is no longer carrying this five dollar game. Walmart no longer carries the Funko figures, right? They carry the other Funko figures, Disney and stuff. And they carry they have even Walmart exclusives, especially Target. I know Target has exclusive Funko figures. None of these people want to carry magic. I think there's a reason for that. And unless Wizard of Coast figures it out soon, they're going to be screwed out of these stores. So not only are the local game stores going to bankrupt because the margins are not there, but GameStop will stop carrying, Walmart might stop carrying, and Target might stop carrying. And you might be like, oh, wow, that's going to save the local game store. No, that's not going to save the local game store. You want a big player base. The only thing that saves everyone in this scenario is a huge player base. And the fact that, that all of these things have failed is very bad. Uh, the reason it's so bad, the player base is shrinking probably every day and it does not help that we have this big drama going on all the time about people who harass each other and from an outsider is this really some a community you would want to join everything's on discount sale you go to GameStop and these things cannot even I mean these things are not like if something is MSRP and something is 10% or 5% of MSRP, that is not, no store is gonna to wanna to carry that product. And that's currently where Magic is right now.